Hey YouTube folks. Hey listen, these birds need to see the chicken pluck in about two weeks or maybe three at the most. Want to give you a little bit of idea uh, for a chicken plucker if you're building your own. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is uh, loosely based on the whiz bang chicken plucker. You don't have to buy the book. Of course, it's always nice if you want to go, you know, letter by letter uh, according to a plan. That's great. Let me just say that this is thrown together with some two by fours, two by sixes. That's all you need. I got uh, two by sixes on the bottom or up five inches from the ground. Consider leaving enough ground, uh, enough room for your pulley. That's the main thing about getting it up off the ground with your supports. The two supports inside will hold the bearings, uh, pillow box bearings and the shaft. I have a one inch, but you could go down to five eighths or what have you. I don't think I'd go down to half inch, but maybe five eighths, three quarter. And your bearings are gonna sit in here like this. You could do it upside down. You could do it this way if you want. I'm choosing to do this. Uh, so that I have more room for the pulley underneath, right? So I can butt it almost real close to the two by six. Other than that, you see the construction, it's just two by four and two by six. I left this, this side off over here because it's gonna be a, that barrel is gonna sit inside here and drain out the chicken, fe uh, the feathers. That's the idea, sliding a bucket under there five gallon I think will fit not positive yet I didn't really measure it it's almost an afterthought from someone else I had seen do that so there you go two by six put a hole so that I can, a large hole so that I can move it around shift it around to find the center with the chicken plate the chicken plate is going to spin inside of the barrel let me show you the barrel first the barrel is simply uh, one of the food grade barrels that have been cut down it's been cut down by a third. So if you happen to have these markers, it's basically divided by a third. That's where I went, cut there. You could go a little lower. You could go all the way down probably to around midsection if you wanted. I don't think the bird's gonna come out. But if you wanna do two or so, I think that'd be, I'd leave, most everybody's gone, take about a third off the barrel, okay? Now, here's the work of the whole process. This, this, this is what takes the work, okay? This is the finger plate that rotates inside, right? It sits down into the, into the obviously into the, uh, into the bearings. Let me just kind of slip it down in there. Well, I'll just set it like that. That's going to spin, and these fingers, uh, it's, gonna, it's probably going to be about 120, 130 or so between the, the, uh, the rotating disc and the barrel there'll be a couple levels on the barrel as well when i'm done i'll do another video to update but that's the idea it's going to spin now you can buy this from Whizbang, not from Whizbang, but someone some other link or maybe it is planet Whizbang. i'm not sure uh some way you can buy these but it's, it's aluminum and i think it's about a quarter inch uh plate you can buy this it's about 175 dollars last i looked i considered that but what I did, if you see the two layers there, what I did was take, I, I was fortunate enough to find a couple signs, <laughs> a couple signs that I cut out, aluminum signs, I cut the discs out of and laid them, ground the edges a little bit where it was, wasn't meeting up really right and made sure it was true, as true as I could go anyway. And then I uh, actually I riveted them first. I put some rivets, you see the rivets? There's a handful of rivets that go around the edge. I do know that these two plates, I'm sure that they're not gonna be an issue once all these fingers are pulled in there. It's kind of like the whole disc is rubber mounted. <laughs> Both plates are rubber mounted. So I know, I know it, sound, it feels very, very solid. Uh, stainless steel uh, bolts through. Uh, I forget, inch and a half, I guess. I didn't go stainless steel on this side. Why? There's no food on there, that side. Okay, the shaft is, if I remember right, I'm about 16 inches here. So you'll have to measure that, of course, and cut it to whatever you decide to do with your level of uh, your plates where your bearings are. Because so what you'll want to do is set this in, put a couple fingers underneath too, because what it does, mine's going to turn clockwise 
and I put these at an angle to where it'll sweep, it'll sweep the uh, chicken feathers out from the bottom. Let me show you a little better here. So this is gonna sit down inside the barrel, right? And it's gonna turn and kick, kick the feathers out, okay? Out of that port right there. Shaft goes down to the center. It rotates, I'm sh okay. There's plenty of videos I can go into further detail to help you with that. So that's the idea so far. Uh, did not do any bolts. I just put a little glue in, went with no lags, no nothing. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be solid. I don't think you have to worry about it coming apart if you, if you decide. But of course you can go overkill and do what you like, but I don't think it's necessary, okay? So that's where we are so far and stay tuned. I'm gonna move for forward a little bit of assembly soon, probably tomorrow or next day. So that's where we are. Thank you for watching. I wanna mention guys that this little hub right here is uh, a go-kart hub. I think I got it for $16 uh, just the other day from Amazon, uh, go-kart hub. It's steel, I could weld it. Uh, but what I, I, I did is simply, uh, it's pretty nasty looking but it's a groove <laughs> right i grooved it with my angle grinder to put a key in and uh and then locked it locked it uh just tap beat it in there honestly and then set the screw uh it's really tight but then set the screw tight uh set screw there and so yeah that's a uh, go-kart hub 16 bucks okay the chicken fingers are uh three and a half inch long and they are uh, uh, silicone rubber and they're really good quality uh, very rubbery so they pull in very nicely and I'll show you a little instrument next video of how to uh, how to get those in in a really easy way okay the three quarter inch camfered holes you can get a step bit step bit something like uh, something like one of these here Harbor Freight I think these are $15 for two of them I don't know where the second one is right now but yeah, set you in for a three-quarter inch, and you'll be good.